Does the narcissist believe in God? Narcissists do not like authority. They believe that anyone of authority is unworthy of their consideration or respect. They refuse to comply with authority due to their feelings of pride or false sense of superiority. They cannot comply with any kind of authority which includes God because it would limit them from engaging in certain actions or behaviours. To continue engaging in these dysfunctional behaviours they have to reject anyone who is concerned with the principles of right and wrong behaviour. They have to reject anyone who is higher in rank status or quality because they would have the power and ability to dictate what is right or what is wrong in that environment and that would then limit the narcissist from engaging in their dysfunctional behaviours. If they were to comply with certain rules or laws it would make it very difficult for them to operate as a narcissist. Narcissists do not like rules or laws. They don't like being told what to do. They want to do whatever they want to do, regardless of what they're being told or how it affects anyone else. They cannot give any attention or consideration to the thought or idea of being concerned with the principles of right and wrong behaviour because that would greatly affect their ability to operate as a narcissist and engage in these dysfunctional behaviours. When you meet the narcissist you may expect them to represent what they are standing for. You may expect them to be a symbol or embodiment of what they claim to be about. You may expect to see a tangible or visible form of an idea, quality or feeling that they are meant to represent. You may expect to see the representation or expression of something in tangible or visible form. But as you will soon realize from their behaviors None of it is real or genuine. They display fake morals, fake standards or behaviours. You would expect them to represent what they are standing for and display certain qualities like empathy, compassion or fairness. But they have to put themselves first. They have to be ahead of you. They cannot reciprocate or be fair to you. They cannot follow any principles of right or wrong behaviour because that would make them equal to you. They have these inherent qualities of mind and character to display a false sense of superiority. They have to make themselves seem as though they are superior to you so they cannot be fair to you. They cannot hold the same moral principles as people who really do believe in God. God is the ultimate authority, the final or fundament, fund, fundamental fact or principle, the source of all moral authority. The narcissist cannot honour or respect God's teachings or morals because no authority can have power over the narcissist. No authority can have the power to direct or influence their behaviour or the course of events. This is why they do not honour or respect any rules or laws. They fail to comply with any rules or formal agreements in relationships. They only display what they expect a moral person would want to see. 
to make you feel comfortable to make you feel as though you are on the same wavelength to make you feel as though you have the same ideas beliefs and ways of thinking but in their minds those rules and laws are meant for you they don't want to be dependent or conditional upon any rules or laws because that would intervene in certain situations or prevent certain processes or activities from continuing it would prevent or hinder their dysfunctional and immoral behaviors which would leave them unable to obtain the satisfaction and enjoyment they cannot delay the pleasure or satisfaction of their desire they have to fulfill their desires whenever they feel like it they have no control over their desires which means that if you're in a relationship with a narcissist they have likely cheated on you already they cannot postpone the pleasure or satisfaction of their desire if they want to desire something they have to get it and they are not going to give any attention or consideration to any engagement or obligation that might restrict their freedom of action they will do whatever it takes to successfully bring about or reach a desired objective or result they might seem loving or caring in the beginning but this is only designed to seduce the target it is designed to attract them and entice them into sexual activity until they reduce you to being their property you become excessively dependent on them controlled by them forced to obey them they imitate or mimic people who are reasonable or sensible they mimic standards that are usual typical or expected but this is only to portray the image as though they are good kind caring people they want you to feel as though you can be protected by them and not exposed to danger or harm it is a false character that they have created so you cannot detect that you do not realize that they are trying to destroy you or lead you away from the correct path or direction so you do not realize that they are using you influencing your or directing your behavior and the course of events controlling or influencing you all of the manipulation and control that they engage in the mind control and brainwashing they are acting in a way as though they believe that they are God they have this obsessive desire to direct or influence your behavior and the course of events this obsessive desire to control and influence you they see themselves as being all-knowing all-wise all-seeing that is God and only God should have that level of power and control but this is what they are trying to be this is what they are trying to accomplish so they cannot acknowledge or give attention or consideration to something being superior or having authority over them because everything has to revolve around them they know that they have a willingness to act dishonestly they know that they infect and contaminate and cause people to become morally depraved they know that they are toxic and negative and they understand the effect that this has on people and while this might be something that a normal person would find to be undesirable and, or unwanted and may even feel embarrassed or shameful of these qualities or behaviors for the narcissist it only gives them more supply it further proves to them that they are powerful 
because they have the ability to affect you. The narcissist cannot honor or respect God because they see positive qualities like empathy, compassion and fairness as weakness. They believe that having those qualities makes them weak. They believe that doing good makes them less powerful, less in control. They believe that rules and laws are for weak people. They don't really believe that they are victims, but they will play the victim role. It is used as a strategy to secure you as a source of supply. And most of their supply comes from the power to lead you away from the correct path or direction. To make you adopt their ideas and beliefs, their way of thinking. They are going to do whatever it takes to get what they want. Even if it means playing the victim role or using the power of persuasion. They will do whatever it takes to get what they want. They will direct your attention, attach you to their habitual behavior, force you to submit to their desires. And once they have developed the ability to control you and get people to do what they want, they don't see any purpose in their lives for God. There's no requirement or consideration for God in their lives. They believe in their own false sense of certainty, their own false sense of moral superiority, so they don't believe that they need that they need to be accountable to anyone or anything. They don't believe that they should be required or expected to justify their actions or decisions. They don't believe that they should have to be responsible. When things start going wrong for them in their lives, they never consider that it might be the, the result or effect of their actions. They don't consider that they are being punished by a, an unseen power or force because they don't believe in anything. They don't believe that anyone has the power to punish them. The narcissist places such special importance, value and prominence on their own ability to do something or act in a particular way. Their own ability to direct or influence the behaviors of others or the course of events. Their own trust, faith and confidence in themselves to the point where it would be harmful or damaging to their way of thinking and operating if they were to believe in God. It would make them equal to you. It would make them normal. And they want to be anything but normal. They want to go against social norms. They want to be opposed to anything good or right. If they really believed in God and believe that they are required to or expected to justify their actions or decisions, they wouldn't be narcissists. They would have to attempt to or explain or justify their behavior or attitude with logical reasons for their decisions and the results or effects of them. This is why they develop this false sense of certainty of themselves as though what they are doing is correct, what they are doing is right, and they are morally superior. They have to justify it. They have to tell themselves that it is right, it is reasonable. When you are around them, they are likely to cause harm to you. They are likely to cause problems because they do not honor or respect anything. They are negative and unhelpful and they will make full use of and derive benefit from you 
in a way that might be considered unfair or underhanded. They are not concerned about your health or happiness. They don't care about what happens to you. And they will discard you once you are no longer of any use to them. They don't even see you as a human being. They don't see you as being a real person. In their minds you are an extension of them or an object that exists to serve them and meet, meet their needs. They don't care about you. They don't care about how their behaviour affects you. They are self-absorbed and lack empathy. All they care about is what they want and they will do whatever it takes to get it. They know that there is something wrong with them. They know that their negative traits and dysfunctional behaviours do pose a problem to people. That's why they hide it. That's why they don't show you who they really are and they create these false characters. Because they know that something is wrong with them and they know that they are the, pro they are the, they are the problem. They know the effects that they have on people. They know the damage that they cause just by being around people. They are fully aware of this. And while a normal person would view this as something undesirable or unwanted, the narcissist sees it as though it makes them powerful, as though they have the ability to direct or influence your behavior and the course of events. They willingly and enthusiastically accept their negative traits and, and dysfunctional behaviors in a way that shows intense and eager enjoyment, interest and approval. It puts them in a state of physical ease and freedom from pain or constraint and alleviates their feelings of grief or distress. Because it tells them that they are powerful, significant, important, special, even though it characterizes them by, by the absence rather than the presence of distinction features as it usually consists of them expressing or implying denial, disagreement or refusal. They still see it as though it means they have power over other people. They see it as though they have the, the capacity or ability to do something or act in a particular way. The, the ability to determine the course of events or cause something to occur in a particular way. There is no mention or reference to God. And this is why there is no awareness of or responding to their surroundings. They are not really alive. They have no interest or meaning. They have no awareness or interest in anything significant or meaningful. They are not responsive or receptive. They are not willing to accept new suggestions or ideas. They are basically dead, living off other people who are alive, people who do have interest and meaning, people who do have awareness and interest in things that are significant and meaningful. People who are responsive and receptive and willing to accept new suggestions and ideas. And they use these people who are full of life, love, joy and positivity to sustain them, to give them life. This is why narcissists are often referred to as emotional vampires. They are dead inside, lifeless, and they hunt down and chase people who are full of, full of life, people who are full of energy, draining them and leaving them feeling emotionally exhausted. They provoke emotional reactions within you and feed off your emotions as well as your resources. They are dead and they have to suck the optimism and serenity right out of you to survive, to exist among the living. And 
for them to survive they cannot believe in a god they cannot believe in anything that they might have to be held accountable to where they might be required or expected to justify their actions or decisions if they really believed in a god they wouldn't be narcissists thank you for watching I hope this video resonated with you please like comment share and subscribe click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos if you would like to donate my PayPal link is in the video description coaching inquiries you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com check out the new merchandise in the Narcs Forever store where you can purchase your own Narcs Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug the link is in the video description thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon